Hi everyone! So, uh, do you remember these um, two horribly icky candles? Well, um, in a previous video I talked about, you know, tunneling and how to restore old candles. So I took a picture of it because it no longer looks like this. Um, I think I have found a new and improved way to restore old candle wax. Because if you remember before, I had a coffee filter in here. And it was really, really uh, thin. Otherwise, it the wax won't go through. And, um, well, I have an old t-shirt. I put an old t-shirt in there. And we're going to see how well this works. I think it's going to be better. It's not a cheesecloth. It has to be finer than that. Otherwise, it's going to leave some yucky particles behind and I don't want that especially a restoring old candle so I wanted to make like look like new I just transferred the wax to a different smaller pot here hopefully it won't spill all right And it looks like it's going well. Yeah, that's so much faster, guys. This is a very, very thin, fine t-shirt. And, uh... Because there isn't... A coffee filter this time. It's just... This is going through so much faster. This works so much better, guys. And hopefully we'll see some debris and stuff in the top right here. Might need to strain it one more time, though, to make sure I got everything. Yeah, check that out, guys. That is so much better than using just a strainer or a coffee filter. That was so much faster. I don't have to spend hours and hours trying to clean up everything. This is great. All right. <laughs> I just had to show that to you guys. Turns out uh, an old t-shirt works much better to get all that crud out of there. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. All right. Whoop. Have a good one, guys. I can turn this camera off. Okay, there it is.